laying someone off, dismissing a member of your team, firing someone. It's not a fun situation, but eventually if you lead an international team, you may need to dismiss someone or lay someone off in English. Let me help you have the right expressions so that you say the right thing and sound confident and diplomatic if you find yourself in this situation. And we'll start with some commonly confused expressions so that you can stay out of trouble. Whether you are letting someone go or you're talking about being between jobs yourself, there are some expressions that you do not want to confuse. Let's get started. Since this is such a difficult topic, you definitely want to avoid confusion. And I want to remind you that yes, I'm here to help you with your business English needs, but the rules around hiring and ending employment change and they can depend on where you live and work. So I can't give you specific advice on that. Your human resources department would know best about the rules and regulations for your country, but I can help you with your English. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, and welcome to Business English with Christina, where you become better at English and better at business. And let me help you with my expertise as a neurolanguage coach and someone who leads an international team so that you can show your expertise in business and in English. Go over to christinarobofay.com slash worksheets to get the free activities that I've made for you on this lesson to help you learn the expressions and really use them in your real life and test your knowledge of what you learned today. Right, let's get into it. In English, we have different expressions that we use when someone has to leave their company. First, let's start with a common situation. Let's say an employee loses his or her job because of financial reasons. It's beyond the employee's control or even the business's control. In this case, notice the expressions that you would use in these example sentences. Sam, we're gonna have to let you go. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to lay you off. In this situation, it's no one's fault and you may want to explain why it happened like this. As you may know, business is not going well and we've been forced to downsize. And in this case, of course, you can also let your team member know that you regret the situation. You could say something like, I'm sorry this is happening. You know, as a neurolanguage coach, I know that when we are in situations that are more stressful, it can be harder to do your best in your English. And that means that saying the right thing and using diplomatic language in these moments when it's especially important is more difficult. So it's a great idea to learn the right expressions and practice them in advance. Of course, when you lead a team, there are also times when you, you need to terminate someone's employment because of something they did or something they didn't do. As the leader, you have to do what's right for the company, even if it's difficult. And that may mean dismissing someone. Now, just a word of caution. Another expression for dismissing someone is to fire someone, but... That's not very diplomatic language. It would sound unprofessional to say, you're fired to your employee. You're fired. Listen to the next two examples. They're diplomatic and professional ways of dismissing an employee. John, today will be your last day at our company. We've provided ongoing warnings about meeting your deadlines, and you were notified that continuing to be late would lead to your dismissal. In business, saying the right thing is important. So before we see the correct words to talk about your unemployment periods, be sure to go to christinarobofay.com slash worksheets to get that worksheet to test yourself on everything that you're learning in this video. You know, I work with a lot of clients who are between jobs too. I mean, it, it can happen to anyone, especially in today's volatile 
workplace. And if you're in the middle of a job search, of course you want to have the right words for talking about your current situation. Here are some things that you can say when you're looking for work. I'm currently unemployed. Or I'm between jobs right now. It's two ways of saying I don't have a job right now, but in a more professional, maybe even more positive way. And you would actually be surprised how many clients I've worked with who accidentally told me that they were fired from their last job when in reality they were laid off because of economic reasons, not because of something they did. And when we dug into the situation a little more and we realized that what they really wanted to say was that they were let go or laid off or that their contract came to an end, which is a totally different reason um, for not having a job, you know, compared to being fired, which means that you did something bad. Anyway, Like I said, being able to make the difference between those nuances is important, especially in the challenging moments in your career. So learning the expressions from this lesson is a great example of a small step that you can take that will add up to a big difference in your life and in your English if you keep taking these small steps over and over. And if you've got a situation that is complex and challenging and you would like someone to help you with that, Remember that my team and I are also here to coach you through those situations. And if you don't use it, you lose it. So here's how you can use what you learned in today's lesson. In the comments, here's a quick one. Just see if you can use the expression to let go or to be let go in a sentence. It's a perfect opportunity to practice to make sure that you're using this expression correctly and to add it to your active vocabulary. And if this lesson was helpful for you, of course, I would love to know. And there are three simple ways that you can tell me. Give this lesson a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to my channel so that you can continue getting my business English lessons. Number two, go over to christinarobafay.com slash worksheets and get the worksheet to test yourself on all of these nuances that you learned in today's lesson. And you can go ahead and watch the next lesson, which is six advanced business English words to upgrade your English. Thank you so much for improving with Business English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.